Hello and welcome back. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you some of my latest finds as I've been out uh, hunting and buying and uh, we'll see what we have to offer here, okay? Basically, I uh, took the kids uh, to see Mamaw and Papaw, dropped them off, went to a local shop and found a Chase Brass or I believe it's Copper uh, Pretzel Whore. Used to be a post here, but boy is he just a happy fellow, you know, check him out. He's just moving on down the road. Somebody will have to have him. He's got a great look to him. Good super buy, fifteen whole dollars, so uh, probably seventy-five, eighty-five bucks, I would think. Uh, they used to bring a lot more, but doesn't have the post, and I'm sure I'll settle for less. But uh, but a nice piece to find. And on the same stop, as we took kids to see Grandma and Grandpa, Grandma and Papa, my wife and I walked through an antique shop and found this wonderful little oil on board by L Hunt. Chinese vase florals, and when I got home, I ran right into the garage because I had something that I knew would fit. The super Victorian frame. Is that great or what? So I took a five dollar piece that I picked off of a flea market, put it in a great frame, should be easily a couple hundred bucks now. Now, while I was out last week, had a good time, stopped in one shop, and found this Chinese silk dragon. How wonderful is that? If you can see this, all the little details, all the hand sewn, just love Orientalia. Uh, learning a whole lot more each day, and uh, admired a lot. And uh, you can just see uh, the hours of great work that went into this, and you gotta appreciate it. Just, just deep gold threads all through the dragon, rays, uh, just wonderful there. And at that same shop, because I bought that for almost nothing, bought a little Indian doll. They didn't know exactly what it was, but look, I, even, I haven't even unwrapped it since I got it. But it's called a little Skookum doll. They didn't know it was a Skookum. There she is. Got her papoose, little tape feet, nice little fine, 30 whole dollars. Just got to get out there and look. Got to get out there and look. Uh, that same day, I bought a little Danish candlestick. Heavy, heavy brass base, three bucks. Can't beat that, can't beat that. And as well, found this copper clad lamp. Look at the legs on that guy. And look at this ormolu here, this is just beautiful. All painted and touched. Great little buy. Uh, let's see, uh, this weekend, I went to a couple auctions, pulled out this wonderful little. Uh, Early, probably 18th century, called a fine, frying pan, brass, candlestick, uh, European. Uh, you can see the, the tooled work, the lead on the bottom. Just a nice early piece here. And as well, at the same auction, here is a great quadruplate piece. See the bird in there by Pelton Brothers. Great detail. This stuff is well undervalued. Nice Victorian, just so, such quality. And um, yesterday, this was the find here. Guys, hopefully this will wind up at the sports car, or my sports auction uh, around New Year's time. The Chevrolet Camaro Pace Car from 1969. Only about 3,500 uh, Pace Cars, I think, made it to the road. I don't know how many promo cars made it, but uh, there's a real gem. And uh, you guys know what this is worth. Uh, some say four or 500 even in this condition. Some say a couple hundred bucks. Uh, I'm probably going to do a couple hundred bucks, but um, then again, how many do you get to see? So uh, we'll see what happens there. And I uh, just want to show you a couple paintings that uh, I picked up. Uh, paintings are things that I really enjoy. Here's one, a Richmond artist. This is Harold Brady, and uh, he's got a show tag on the back here of the label. Uh, this one's called Late Summer. Um, it was $175. This is how much he sold it, was asking for it. Uh, great frame. I paid a whole 20 bucks for it. 22.50. I think it was 25 with 10 percent off. So I really like that one. And at the same place, I bought this fabulous. I haven't even looked it up yet. Eliza T. Great still life. Like the uh, peaches, the pears. Super frame. Uh, got some age to it. The frame is all nailed together. Uh, the canvas is nailed to the to the to the canvas stretcher as well. So. Just got a little bit of age and a nice piece there. But uh, 
Guys, I'm always out looking around, trying to find wonderful things, and uh, keep stopping back with me. I'll show you what I find throughout the week or sometimes throughout a day uh, on a certain pick, okay? Thanks.